go to the info menu item, immediate mode CS VARS. Then when you get to this page, select finite math. And what we're going to do is copy these three formulas over to our calculator. We have this formula highlighted already with control C. Then we'll go over to our calculator and we'll hit control V and then we'll press enter and we have the formula in our calculator. What we have done is put three formulas into our calculator. The three formulas over here have to do with the slope of the line given two points, the line given the point in the slope, and the line given two points. We had the first two already in and a minute ago we just added the third one. Let's clear the screen. Let's look at the line through the point one one with the slope of one fifth. So we'll go to our VAR. We'll choose CAS if it's not already highlighted. We'll choose option two program. We'll choose option two line point slope. We'll put in parentheses. We'll put in one comma one. We'll use the shortcut for fraction, which is the use the divide sign one divided by five and press enter. And we come up with it is one fifth X minus one plus one. Y is equal to one fifth X minus one plus one. A few seconds ago, we did the problem with one one and slope of one fifth. Well, what if we change this to H K and a slope of M? So we'll press enter and it tells us that it's M x minus h plus k. Now it didn't write this as x minus h plus k. It wrote it as minus h plus x, but that's the same thing. So now we're going to take a look at how this works in OneNote. So if we go over to OneNote and if we use our math um, function here with the x minus h plus k and we graph in 2D, it gives us the way to play with these parameters. It actually came out with this originally being 1. So let's move it back to 1. So now we've got it back to 1. So we see that we have a line through the origin with the slope of 1. If we wanted to do the one that was on our calculator, we'd go back to point 0.2 and we see that we have that particular line. So again, if we were looking at our calculator, we can see that that particular line is here. So let's go to our calculator for a second and highlight this and copy it back down and press enter again. And let's hit the simplify button and we see that what we have is x plus four over five. Now the, the calculator doesn't um, write this as one fifth x plus four fifths. It writes this as a rational expression.